his down air and down tilt. It's a recipe for disaster as long as, unless you're always on stage. But anyway, we have Cobb versus N Galaxy Timio. Is am I pronouncing that correctly? I believe so. Okay. Yeah. Timio, more of a, a controller modder than a player, but he's been getting into the game recently. That's cool. And Cobb, I believe, used to be a Samus main, but he's been whipping out that Falcon recently. Okay. All right, so both players showing each other a lot of respect here. Um, oh, well, maybe not as much as I expected. <laughs> uh, you don't throw out a raw Falcon Punch super often unless you're pretty sure it's going to hit or you're yeah. not really trying a whole lot. But, you know, that's that's the first stock, and Cobb gets the grab. Ooh, opts for a Nair instead of a second up air. Oh, and he uh, throws out a second bow and gets it. Ooh, that up B barely connected, but it did. Did not kill, though. Ooh, a little tricky with uh, with the up B there. Wasn't sure if he was going to land on the side flat or not. Ended up not, but Cobb looks like he was expecting him to do it. Yeah, and even though Timio's recoveries are good here, uh, he's pretty, he seems pretty predictable with where he's laying those back airs. Yeah. You can get a lot of mileage on Falcon if you get him in the right spot. Um, but he just keeps landing in front of Cobb, and again, he's just going to turn that into a nice little four throw combo. Absolutely. Oh, and great chase there after dropping it initially. Seems like Timio is uh, missing a lot of these Z cancels. He hit that one, which is good. That's not quite going to kill. And the no tech land from Cobb. Not going to follow that up. Yep, smart by Cobb to not follow that up, realizing that it wasn't going to reach. Uh, first kill here from uh, Timio. Nice little trade there. Up air is not quite going to kill. And call comes back down with a falling forward air. Oh. Nice. Do you think he was going for a runoff Nair there, or do you think he was trying to actually do the dash attack? With how early he started it, I really do think it was the dash attack. Probably right. Uh, sometimes it can pan out for edge guarding. Like, if Pikachu's not there, that's really your only option out of uh, dash. And it, it does have a pretty deceptive hitbox. It lasts for quite a while, too. And that up, he's not quite going to hit, and he's out of a jump. Oh, nice uh, little poke there. Ooh, great edge guarding there from Timio. Yeah, definitely just kind of ushering him to the ledge and then just taking it for himself. Wow. And that forward air was perfectly timed so that he could still grab the ledge afterward. Oh, but that up he's going to take it. Yeah, and Cobb looking pretty comfortable here, I think. Uh, oh, yeah. Timio did, he, he was showing some stuff towards the end there as the game went on, but it was a little too much uh, you know, distance to make up at that point. Yeah, let's see if he can make up for it now with a fresh start. All right. Oh, Throwing out that neutral, that B. neutral B. Ooh, ops for the oh, back yes. throw. Uh, now he throws him off stage. Good. What a chain here. Oh, and wow. I think that's gonna do it. Yeah. What a great difference. start here. Yeah. Okay, so maybe he just needed a second to remember how to play the game. Sometimes that's all it takes. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Goes for that up air. That would have been really sick if he hit it, but I think the down air might be better. There, Ouch. yep. There we go. Timio just kind of main. Oh, he sails in that forward air. All he needs is one clip from it. And he keeps opting for the back throw on the stage. Um, yeah, he's probably aware that the damage is advantageous sometimes, but when you're that close to the edge with Falcon, you, you do just want to get him off there, I think. Yeah, you're at such a huge advantage when you're Pikachu and you're edge guarding somebody off stage, especially someone with a lackluster recovery like Falcon. But, you know, maybe he's looking for that tech option. You know, if he back throws, he does land on the side flat a lot. Oh! Woo! What a little chain there with the. You know, reverse up smash from the, those up tilts. Yeah, I don't think he was going for that, but hey. He lemons. got it, though. Oh, great punish there from Cobb. Nice and simple, just a couple up airs into a down air. OK, 
Okay. Misses that forward air. Cobb taking advantage. Ooh, oh, wow. and catches the jump, and that's it. Good stuff from Cobb. Yeah, two two stocks in a row. That game was significantly faster than the last one, though. Very, very volatile, very explosive. I liked it. Okay. What's up? So how did you think about that match? Anything that we could like learn from or improve on? Uh, so I think uh, the big thing, like you mentioned, when you got Falcon at edge with those grabs, you just uh, kind of want to just throw him out there. Yep. Give him the nice little overhead, like <laughs> out of bounds soccer ball. Just <laughs> get him off the stage and start kicking him or whacking him with your tail. Yep. And then, yeah, as far as him getting off stage, he doesn't really have a whole lot of options for getting back. He can either go high or go low. Go high or go to the ledge. Yeah. And uh, as long as you pick the right one, and you can react too. It's not like he's super fast with his upbeat. 